Hi everyone, I'm Kinga and this is my vlog about eco-creative fashion. To stay up to date with my vlog, please subscribe and press the bell button. The name of this vlog is actually in Polish, Moda Eko Kreatywna, which translated into English means eco-creative fashion. So what's eco-creative fashion? What does that mean? Let me explain. This vlog originated from a challenge not to buy any new clothes in 2020. Why not? Because buying new clothes is first of all expensive, secondly not environmentally friendly, why? Because making new clothes takes up a lot of water, power and uses a lot of chemicals. So for whom? Obviously not for fashion slaves, but for people who want to be eco-friendly, who want to stay stylish, who want to be creative in their fashion and get inspired by new trends. Well, it is not my aim to make you stop buying new clothes completely. I just hope that before buying a new item, you will first consider buying it secondhand or just look for it from secondhand sources. Why buy secondhand clothes? So, not only are they cheap, not only are they eco friendly, but also they give you a kind of hunting thrill. So, you can feel just for a moment as if you were treasure hunting. To prove that, I'm going to tell you a short story from my life connected with treasure hunting. So one day I went to a second-hand shop in my place, in my town. Uh, there is a shop uh, in which you can buy different kinds of things, objects, something like a flea market. So I found two aquarel pictures, two watercolors from the 19th century. I thought they are pretty good. I thought perhaps it's worth buying them for something like $20. So I just bought them, I came home. When I came home, I decided to change a glass in one of the pictures as it was broken in the shop. So after removing the glass, what did I see? Behind one of the pictures, there was another picture. Actually, it was a pastel drawing by Henri Gervais, a French painter, who is actually quite famous. One of his paintings is Rolla, who one day caused quite a scandal in the painting society, in the artist society in Paris. It's actually worth quite a lot. I'm not going to sell it for now. I'm just keeping it to remember that it's worth looking for treasures. It's, it's worth searching for special things. Apart from paintings and things like these, I have quite a few treasures and things that I really consider my precious things. I'm going to show you a few. So first thing I want to show you is a bag by Matthew Williamson made for Hannes and Moritz. This bag, it's a leather bag, is one of my absolutely favorite objects. I wear it quite often for special occasions. Another thing is a cape shown in the photo. This is a viscose and silk cape in beautiful colors. Look at the shades, look at the patterns, they are really, really pretty. It's one of my favorite things. I wear it with different kinds of styles. For instance, with trousers, with short trousers, with velvet dresses, even with jeans. One of the things that I really think are useful, dead useful and beautiful, is another cape, also velvet, a velvet cape. It is black with embroidery. Such a thing is very useful for both parties, some evening occasions, as well as just wearing during the day as a jacket. Still another thing is a pair of Michael Kors high heels, red ones. You can see them also on a, one of the stylings in this vlog. Now I will show you a few stylings, a few stylizations with my favorite things that have appeared so far in the other episodes of this vlog. In the following photograph, you can see a beautiful cashmere and silk sweater by Mark Kane. Here it is with uh, leggings and leg warmers. 
in the British style. New trends, I mean trends from fall winter 2019 and 20. Here you can see a dress in the style of the 70s paired with a colorful fur coat and a handbag that I bought second hand obviously. It's very, very merry and cheerful. The next outfit is also based on the 70s. Here you can see a turtleneck, a purple turtleneck with very wide trousers, very fashionable at the moment. You can see very high boots. In the next photograph you can see me in my favorite checked dress. It's a Scottish tartan pattern. In the next photo, I have also put on a red coat and a red hood. It's a bit of a little red riding hood, I guess. Now, because St. Valentine's Day is coming, I'm going to show you a few outfits that are suitable for the occasion. So they are both very feminine and appealing to men. And I also think that all the women will feel comfortable and beautiful in them. The first outfit you can see is still a bit wintry. You can see a cashmere black sweater with a skirt. The skirt is in the pattern of red cats. Very modern print. By modern I mean <laughs> from the 70s, so it is a bit vintage and I think it's really suitable for such an occasion as a Valentine's Day. The next outfit is very fashionable, a little bit based on the idea of Dolce & Gabbana collection of the spring 2020, which means leopard pattern, total look. So you can see a skirt, a white skirt, that is very much in fashion now, and a leopard pattern blouse with a cape. I've also added here a small black handbag, very elegant, very nice. You can use it for a restaurant, for a concert or whatever event you will choose for your Valentine or you will, your loved one will choose for you. And last but not least, the outfit I'm wearing now, a red blouse made of viscose, a grey frilly skirt, it's also asymmetric, which is very much in fashion now. I'm also wearing my red heels from Michael Kors. The bag shown in the photo is a present from my friend. She used to wear it before, so it's second hand too. Basically, all the outfits shown in this vlog are second hand or based on second hand clothes. Sometimes these clothes are just from my wardrobe or are given by my family members, friends. I hope I have inspired you to buy second-hand clothes, to look for super things second-hand, not only clothes. And in the coming episodes, I'm going to try to inspire you to change your clothes, to maybe adjust them to new trends, to be eco-creative. So traditionally, a Vulcan greeting, live long and prosper. Thank you for watching so far episodes and please come and watch me again. You will find out a lot about winter clothes and in two weeks time we are going to talk about new season for spring 2020. Renko, kręć to renko. <laughs> Great action, action! Stop behind the frame, behind the the other. F um, so it's it's worth. <clears throat> it's actually quite. <clears throat> please, please don't stop. <clears throat> it's actually quite. <clears throat> <clears throat> behind one of the. <laughs> okay, sorry. But. Very, 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 very.